Welcome to another sunny day in Minecraft. Today we are back over here at the uh, iron farm, which is still not fixed, but uh, as I was uh, getting quite a bit of uh, red brick uh, while trying to get uh, the stonemasons to trade me the 16 different colors of terracotta, um, I came by quite a bit of this stone. So today I was thinking we will start with the uh, building that uh, houses this farm uh, and I will do it in mostly in bricks. Uh, at the bottom we will have uh, uh, stone bricks and on the corner we will have the uh, uh, red granite. Yeah. So basically, uh, the wall will go on uh, on this stretch here, and then we have to go up by um, by sixteen blocks uh, in order so that no golem spawns on top of the roof and it would be nice if we could have a staircase uh, but I think it's not possible to do it on this side because even if we uh, do it with um, uh, bottom half slabs I still think golems could spawn on there so maybe we will have an entrance here on this side and we will probably have also an entrance uh, down there but anyway we still need to lower the uh, ground floor so that will come later on so while it sounds like uh, I have a vision for this build uh, you probably already know as in all likelihood I put an image of the final product uh, into the uh, uh, into the clip for the uh, video Woo! so apparently both cells are working did not change a thing, but two golems spawning at the same time can only be if both are working. So at least one issue is already solved. So this is the height the uh, walls have to go. Uh, 16 blocks up from um, the uh, beds there and so far the walls look uh, quite bland so we will have to figure out uh, uh, some type of uh, window or uh, opening uh, but that will come later. Then on the uh, outside here we have uh, a trim and basically everything below this level is stone brick, everything above is red brick uh, with this granite uh, cornerstones to uh, enforce the structure. Then in here we will have a uh, entranceway that goes down then we will also lower down the, uh, the ground floor and probably also have a door down there so uh, we can uh, also come in from the uh, other side and then we have to put on a roof uh, 
while building this up I had quite a crazy and nice idea for the roof but unfortunately I don't have the resources to do that but uh, thinking that we will have uh, more buildings like this in in that area uh, surely we can uh, do that roof on another building later on because it will not be the last one so let's put a bit of more work in there so for good measure I put a roof on the uh, entrance here I tried out a bit of oak wood a bit of uh, birch and I think the uh, the uh, oak wood does look a bit better. It blends in nicer with the uh, red tones of the wall. The the quite yellowish tone of the uh, birch. It's it's quite a bit too much uh, uh, contrast there. So I think I will go with the oak wood. Now it's time to show you the door. This is a vertical three piston extender. Uh, basically it pushes uh, the this iron block up by uh, three when we press here. When we press here. When we press here like that piston goes down again and when we press again door is open again and uh, this is done by uh, using uh, black concrete powder as this is a gravity block and this basically allows uh, a one wide door that uh, opens from the uh, bottom so this design is not my own it's by uh, Tinker77 and I will link the uh, video tutorial in the description because he explains it much better than I do uh, what needs to be done is basically wiring uh, this button up to some uh, user input uh, so that uh, we can open the door from the outside or from the inside and then go on with the actual roof so see you on that front so the roof is finished it's made up of uh, stairs and slabs on top here uh, changing the uh, gradient uh, towards the top uh, it's a bit of uh, a mix between uh, brick and site and plain stone I wish there were a variant for cracked stone stairs and then here in the uh, middle we have three chimneys uh, like they are or they were used on uh, steel mills so uh, let's see if we can get down there and uh, back it up again that's why they are open but I also did a bit of work on the interior here with uh, the uh, staircase bottom half slabs so uh, columns cannot spawn in it uh, lowering the uh, floor by uh, three blocks so that we can uh, move that down we need also to uh, install a filter so that uh, we keep all the uh, 
all the uh, iron but uh, get rid of uh, most of the uh, poppies so let's try yep that's yeah made it with an excess use of uh, rockets so uh, maybe uh, the uh, conventional way out through the uh, stairs here uh, is preferable but there's still a bit more work to do on this um, also um, I need to try some things for the uh, exterior to uh, move in some variations here on the uh, big red brick wall I have some ideas but um, not yet so sure how well they work out we will see and so now it's completed at least on the um, inside if we have a look we have the uh, opening door we have a staircase with some garbage on it and basically the same on the other side it's all uh, lower half slabs so uh, the uh, golem cannot spawn on here then down here it's all bottom half slabs still need to clean up the uh, various chests down here then I lowered everything I basically lowered the floor by uh, three blocks and then lowered this one further uh, recreated it in uh, this corner and uh, usually we get quite a few golems and down here I installed uh, a simple sorter for the uh, iron in these chests and uh, I also crafted up uh, some iron blocks from the uh, iron we had in the uh, old chest and in here for the uh, poppies and everything else gets spit out here into the lava and destroyed so uh, basically all that remains is some uh, decorations in the uh, red brick walls so I'm done with the exterior I've gone for both my initial ideas the black stained glass and the dark oak fence and as you probably can see the build is not symmetrical on this side we have a row uh, with the uh, fence but on the other side we don't and uh, this is something that's true for the the front side because apparently uh, uh, the entrance is not exactly in the middle and then on the uh, sides uh, I think the problem there was um, that the uh, total width did not uh, exactly fit so uh, if we uh, have a look here we can see that uh, from this side we have gaps of two but in here there's a gap of one but it does not bother me that much symmetry is uh, overrated so let's have a final flyby and with these uh, with these uh, uh, windows in Uh, it's also uh, way uh, brighter on the uh, inside previously it was was really dark even during the day 
but now this actually looks like uh, an industrial building maybe not a steel mill they probably did not have these uh, these uh, kind of windows but a factory building nevertheless so thank you for watching and see you in the next one bye